Hi everybody, Kathy here. I have a quick share. I hope it's going to be quick. <laughs> um, I made a mini album for a friend that I work with who has two twin little boys. I've already given it to her, but she graciously gave it back to me so I could make a video. I used the Kathy Orta Back to Basics tutorial and I used elements from the beginners, the intermediate, and the advanced. Um, the paper line I used was Echo Park's Pirate's Life by Alicia Gordon. Um, it came with 12 sheets of cardstock, um, stickers, cut aparts. I went with cut aparts over this beautiful paper here. All the stickers I mounted on cardstock. Some I used um, glue and seal, the multi matte medium, or glossy accents to accentuate them. Um, on the journaling spots, I used paper smooches and the Stamping Up from 2002 journaling stamp. Um, in the back of the album, I made these little mini albums, which you'll see. And on the journaling tags, I used this Tim Holtz uh, Tiny Tabs and Tags, uh, that tab there. Um, I wanted to you to do a... Um, I was inspired by the ins underneath the, the the paper here, the covering paper, was this great um, treasure map, but I couldn't make it work as a cover, so I decided to make my own cover. I used Kitchen, kitchen Parchment, um, Tim Holtz Distress Inks and Stains, uh, Crumbling It, um, using the matte, the multi matte medium, the glue and seal, and uh, I tried a single layer, and the black cardstock from the album was showing through, so I threw on another layer, and it worked out perfect. As a matter of fact, I think it gave it more depth, and all the crinkles and stuff. This is the only embellishment that isn't part of the paper line. It was a paper studio. Um, it's a 3D sticker pack. Um, uh, it was just a paper ship. There was other elements, but I didn't use them. But I glossy accented them. On the parchment, I dotted lined it. I used on the spine here some uh, brown cardstock. I inked it with distress inks. I used the multi matte medium, and it feels like leather. And this, as you saw, came from the cover. Um, I will go here on the back. Um, I continued the dotted line here and took it around. This was also part of the, the map from this. It came off here. Um, this was one of the stickers, and I had a Tim Holtz um, blueprint stamp that was the nautical compass, so I was excited that I had something that I could use. Um, originally, this was going to be the part of the cover and the more I tried to <laughs> make it work the worse it got so I hated it um, but I didn't want to throw it away so I stuck it in as a photo mat um, this is cork it's um what do they do with it it's a paper that you can get at Hobby Lobby and there's an adhesive on the back here which is kind of cool um, it would all the paper um, I was able to get it 50% off. Hobby Lobby, by the way, puts their paper on 50% off like once a month. So keep your eyes out for it. This paper pack was normally $9.99. I got it for 5 bucks. Okay, so um, I turned this into a photo mat. And let's move on. This paper here wasn't part of the paper pack as well as I used... Um, some colored cardstock for flaps and photo mats um, that weren't part of the color. There's another different style in here. We'll get to it. These were the other papers were all from the 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 paper collection. Um, so there's a pocket here. Um, extra pictures can go in there. She's trying to figure out something really cool other than maybe a photo and or a journaling spot on the back there. She got excited when she saw it. But with this tutorial, you can make flaps and all kinds of things in Kathy's uh, tutorial. But what I liked was this pullout 
um, where you could add three or four photos. What I did on every page, I used the paper smooch and um, did a journaling spot. Um, they go back in there and there's still plenty of room for other pictures in there. This was a cut apart. Um, the, uh, a, same here with the paper. It was not part of the collection, but the co solid colored, colored star, card stock was not part of the collection. So these were a couple of, this was also from the very bottom of the paper. There on um, both sides were the, the pirate's, a pirate's life on both. So I cut them out and attached them to the photo mats at the fronts. So that's page one. Here, um, this is kind of like a double pocket. This was a sticker, and I used that Tim Holtz die and made a tag. Journaling spot on the back, the photo mat on the front, go in the front pocket. Um, a cut apart that I turned into a photo mat, and made a couple of more photo mats. Um, by the way, the um, stamp I used was the Stamps by Judas place, place photo here. Um, this is a simple pocket here, just a very simple pocket with a couple of photo mats. Um, this was a uh, cut apart that I turned into a journaling spot. Another sticker. Um, flap here, flap here. These were stickers. Um, I thought this, oops, that went somewhere. Went. Okay. Um, these were stickers I mounted on cardstock and the um, paper here, I loved it, but it was just, I thought it was too much for a full page, so I used it as trim instead. A couple more photo. These were used as stops, and uh, uh, this was a sticker that I turned into a um, journaling spot. Close there, close there, and these were Martha Stewart punches. Same with this one, the corner punch. I was looking for something to reminisce waves. And I didn't realize it, but I had an AK success punch that had waves, but I didn't realize it until after I ran this through the Zyron and attached it. So anyway, here's another flap. Um, this was like a sandy paper. I drew the dotted lines. These were all stickers. This was a sticker that I turned into a pocket. A couple more photo mats. I love this page. I also used the stamps. I don't know where I got them. Oh, I mean, I know where I got them. I don't know what they're called. I got them uh, as a used stamp set on sp Split Coast Stampers. I love buying used stamps on Split Coast Stampers. You can get them for pennies on the dollar. But um, I used some of these, you'll see. But on this page, I used the water bubbles and the little fish. Um, I used the water bubbles on vellum and some of the seaweed on cardstock and vellum. This actually wasn't in there. It was a different stamp I had. Um, but these were on the paper collection. Um, this was a sticker that I dipped into uh, embossing powder, heated it. And this is candle wicking. Um, so it was kind of waxy, and I was able to heat it and twist it, and then I, to make sure it never came apart, I added some glossy accents to it. Took another sticker, made a photo mat here, um, a photo mat and a journaling spot, and a couple of more photo mats. Another pat flap. These were banners I cut out of the paper, and I used the glue and seal matte medium and they feel very leatherly, leathery and on the candle wicking. These are all stickers, two different papers, part of the paper collection, a couple of photo mats and this was a cut, away, uh, cut apart but I added stickers than a journaling spot. There we go. I didn't realize that was upside down until I did it. <laughs> anyway, um, here's a belly band and another sticker that I used as a stopper. This was a, st um, there's a couple of stickers I did not card mount and that was one of them. Um, just, I wanted to give it a lot of different interests. So here's another cut apart, photo mat on the back, a couple of photo mats. And this was a sticker that I used several sheets of 
uh, I think two sheets of cardstock and then I put a toothpick which I inked and then lots and lots of layers of glossy accent. I didn't know what to do with it after I made it so I just kind of stuck it in there. Another flap and just a simple basic pa um, pocket let the paper speak for itself. A couple of photo mats and another cut apart with a journaling spot on the back. This is a fun page. I made some more banners. This time I used glossy accents and these are completely loose. They kind of flip around. This was another sticker. Um, I probably put six layers of cardstock and got in there with my X-Acto, inked everything um, really well. Glossy accented it. Um, I probably did a layer, <laughs> a couple of layers a day for about three days. And then I used my crop dial, poked a hole in it, stuck a brad in, piece of cardstock there to keep it from catching. Again, this paper I thought was cool, but too much is a whole page, so I just cut a strip. Another sticker, and I actually used the outsides of the sticker here to kind of outline this page coming up. A couple of photo mats and another cut apart with a journaling spot. Another flap. This is probably my favorite. This is where I used my mermaid stamp <clears throat> and her rock. They're all layered. They're separate. Um, I This paper is also the paper that doesn't belong to the collection, but I needed something more. But when I did just cut out the wave and made like a little pocket, um, it still looked too bland. So that's when I came up with doing the mermaid. And I later on uh, layered... Um, layered it really well. I colored her, fussy cutted her out, used Wink Estella to make things shimmer like her pearls, her parts of her hair, the um, starfish, and the uh, seaweed. That holds that. And this is another cut apart. I did a sticker here that was mounted on cardstock and had glossy accents. I, I have to say that's probably one of my favorite pages. And this is the final page, a uh, couple of photo mats, um, and another cut apart, just trims of things. These were also stickers that I glossy accent and put down. I made these cute little books for both of the boys. One of their names starts with a T and one of them start with a D. I did it like the anchor. I, I loved having the anchor fill to this. Each of them are identical. Um, but they they all have, both of them have these little journaling spots on both sides, and that's where I used the tiny tabs and tags from Tim Holtz. I hope you like this. Um, if you have any questions on anything I used, if I, if I know what it was I did, I would love to have any comments. Um, was if This is really my first real share, although I've got another video coming that um, I made a couple of years ago. Um, please let me know what you think. Um, I would love to hear your comments. Any construction, constructive criticism would be welcome. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day.